Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to TerraTech with me, Alathrex. And of course, welcome back to the TerraTech 22 playthrough, where today we're going to be deciding on our rules for the future episodes, and probably this episode as well, honestly. So, I've been reading lots and lots of comments. I think the last video may have broke some records on the channel for how many comments I got in the first 24 hours. It was kind of insane, so I've been reading pretty much every last one of them, and there are a lot of ideas I really like the idea of. Things like, don't use a shield for once. If you build a craft, you can't ever send it back to the SCU. It's there permanently. That way, you do have to continually get more blocks to build more things, and each of the different vehicles will be more unique. I like this concept because you do end up sort of just swapping between them so often they lose a bit of their originality and you stop tinkering with them because there's always another vehicle you can use. Other things, such as no crafting, you have to only destroy enemies and get stuff from mission rewards. And since this whole playthrough is meant to be about the missions, all the new missions and stuff, I do kind of love that as well. So there's just a few of them, there are a few more as well, I'll pop them down in the comments. I think for this video, it will likely be the last one where I'm mostly going off just my own rules, but after this one I will be sticking with them a little bit more, because today, our main goal is to just go ahead and get the venture there we are. Just get the Venture License, which I believe means I need to get the Geocorp License a bit higher? I really can't remember. Either way, though, we're going to be doing some of the Geocorp missions, leveling up that, getting to Venture as well, so that we can start seeing some of the new stuff, which would be truly, truly fantastic. Though, just for now, let's continue to sell stuff until we get the Pacemaker, which will make this way faster, and let's go and do some missions. Right now, we just need stuff. We are just nothing. We are just a blob. We are a blobby, blobby fella. And I'm okay with that. Also, huge thank you to all the support, the likes and everything in the last video. Really fantastic. So thank you all so much. So glad to be back. Today, we do missions, destroy stuff, and have fun. This is so slow without the pacemaker. Oh yeah, one other rule I've just remembered, which I really like the look of as well. No solar panels, which means we can only really get energy from either harvesting and destroying blocks using the experimental item, or simply chopping down nature. I do kind of like the concept of that one, because it makes charging up your shields and everything else way more difficult. Ooh, apparently there's one of the missions here. Which one is this? Is this buried treasure? No, it is one of these. Which one's closest? There we are. Delivery crates up for grabs. What? It was a trap? I am totally shocked. So far, the same old missions. There we go. In the same old ways. But there is so much more later on, which I'm really looking forward to see. Looking forward. For the future. Okay, nice and simple. And what do we get? Of the more wheels, which is fantastic. We get a green snotty block. Fantastic. And we get a lemon. You know, when life gives you lemons, make chocolate milkshake. Excuse me, are you the raiding party who are currently in the process of raiding? Just gonna deal with you. Oh no, Detroit! Darn it. We're not doing the best at the whole scavenger thing, gotta be honest. There we are. Enemies destroyed, mission complete. Lovely. So, something else I was considering with the rules, and yes, we are talking about rules far too much today, don't worry, I will stop fairly soon, is the idea of we're not allowed to harvest, but we are allowed to spend our money. That way, I can only get money via missions, via killing enemies, which honestly... Doesn't give you that m Oh, finally a better anchor. Okay, I'm going to install that on our vehicle in a second. It doesn't give you that much money anyway, especially if you're not selling the blocks themselves. Just that way, we can get some of the rarer stuff without having to do the same mission a million times after them. So, maybe that as well. And that is now me finished talking about all the different rules, at least, for the next five minutes. In my time, in your time, it could be five seconds. The joy of editing. Ooh, I... I don't think I've seen this one before. Is this a new thing? It sounds like a new thing. Charlie Watchtower. Find Agent Pow. Receive a briefing. 
Prospector, this is HQ contacting you with a new work opportunity. Our backlog of work to do has been piling up and it doesn't seem to be getting any smaller. Our agent located nearby has reported problems with the supplies getting through and hasn't been able to get any work done. Go find her and see what the problem is. Sorry, Geocorp. I found the new mission. That's the entire point in this playthrough. I'm going over there in my overly shiny vehicle. My god, anything that wants to hit me right now could just see me a mile off. Probably several miles off. From the moon. So one item I really want then is the Plasma Furnace. The Plasma Furnace can essentially devour any block type and will turn it into delicious, delicious power. Ooh, we already have the Anchored Furnace Generator. Okay, yeah, this will definitely then be the last episode where rules are not enforced. My god, I'm sorry, I just can't help but talk about rules. Apparently I'm very authoritarian at the moment. Got another crafty business, which is great, since I'm going to need all this kind of stuff to have our furnace generator set up in the first place. Maybe I should stop selling stuff now if we're going to go with those... Don't call them rules, ideas. Hello, Agent Pow! I'm slowly getting over there. These wheels will get me there, guaranteed, but slowly. Stop right there. Wait. Okay, that's your voice now. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh no, not another clueless new recruit. Yes, another clueless new recruit. A secret password. I'm gonna say... Nuggets. Woo, I get to do grunt work. I've always wanted to do grunt work. The enemy has been spotted, sorry, has been spotting all our tech movements when we move our supplies somehow. I need you to go and investigate a suspicious area. I suspect they've built a watchtower. Their watchtowers are normally shielded. So if you find one, make sure to take out the charges first. Okay, I'm dyslexic. I cannot read as fast as you're talking, which sounds weird to say out loud. You know, I'm going to go and do crafty business first, because that is so far away. Then we'll go and see what the watchtower is. Yeah, really need to install our furnace soon. I literally just don't have enough blocks. That's the problem right now. I don't have enough just regular building blocks, so I can't really extend this or build it properly. So I'm waiting until I have a little bit more. Then, uh, install the furnace, lower these wheels so that we can use the, the uh, Geocorp anchor instead so I'm not constantly hurting myself on every bit of terrain. That would be nice. Good morning. Good morning to you too. And loads of other upgrades as well. Oh, that's a cliff. <laughs> Hello. Yep, intentional. Intentional. Wheels are good. Yep, we're fine. Ow. Only a slight grazing of the face. Ooh, the furnace generator is actually a pretty decent anchor itself. And it's very, very slow at devouring things. On the upside, we won't need much resource on the downside. Again, very slow. Very, very slow. Our goal then, really, is just to get the mobile furnace generator. I believe that is Venture, or is it GSO? I can't remember. Maybe it's even Geocorp. Yes, it's me. I'm just stuck on a tree. How is thee? Ahoy there. Yes, yes, yes. Visiting you not. Yes, this is where we get the items I wanted. There it is, in fact. The filter. With the filter and everything, we can easily sort out fueling our furnaces. Why be green when we could instead just harvest this lovely green landscape? Oh, you're giving me the furnace generator now anyway. Whoops. <laughs> well, all that happiness and excitement, well, we're getting the item regardless. Still not the mobile one, but now we have two furnace generators at least, so we can double the speed. We can burn down this world. Which is rather nice. It does give you quite a lot of power per block. Now, I believe refined chunks give you more power. And do I care enough about being efficient? Not really, because we're going to get an insane amount of uh, just raw blocks easily, and we're not going to be selling them most likely, so we're probably not going to bother with the refinery. Though saying that, it would give us energy faster, most likely. Maybe we'll bother. Hmm. 
So, what we need is we need a dropper so we can drop non-fuel items until we get a plasma furnace, in which case, since I think the plasma furnace is less efficient, we can make it so that's not really a priority. So we try and keep as many fuel blocks as possible for the regular furnaces until that's needed. Okay, let's go and do our mission though first. Finally. It is very far away. Upside with these wheels, despite our weight, we can get up pretty much anything. Downside with the wheels, oh, I am moving at the speed of a slightly enhanced snail. Ooh, that looks interesting. Is that just the biome? That's not the column biome, is it? Of course, that's cool now, but that's... No. Oh, we have found something cool, and I probably just hurt everything. Yep, hurt my butt, hurt my face. You know, the usual. Managed to finally anchor after moving away a little bit. And now we are ready. Okay, the charger itself looks pretty scary, but he's distracted. Well, was distracted. Can I start range this with my lasers? Yes, I can. Well, that was a bit anticlimactic, to be honest, but okay. Let's just remove the rest of you. Goodbye. There's a second charger. Right now, it doesn't seem to be range of me, so I'm going to take this opportunity to scrap everything it has. Some lights, some weapons. Actually, quite a lot of stuff here. Some more blocks, which is great for now, because that's honestly all I really want. Just give me more building blocks so I can start building things to my specifications. Apparently, Deadly Scout over there is too close to us. Oh, this is going to be so risky. Why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? Come on, can something fire down just a little bit? Look how weak it is. Just one gun. That's all we need as it rolls. Oh, why am I doing this? Because I don't have unlimited time. Yes, yes, goodbye. And with that... Most of the stuff returns to the inventory. Okay, I'll come back for the rest of it. Wait, do I have to go past this to get the next? Oh, no, run. This is literally as fast as I can get. Ooh, shiny. Your aim's worse than mine. You should feel bad. Well, there we are, level two of GeoCorp at least. What do we get from level 2 Geocorp? Some better wheels, some shiny weapons, you know, all the usual gubbins. And now we can destroy the main thing. After, once again, I collect all the stuff, because the stuff is the most important thing in the world. Stuff. I want to hit you with my lasers. This sounds like a good plan. Ow, 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 lasers. Well, there we go. The watchtower is down. Ooh, and these blocks are using one of the... Ooh, the SCU. Lovely. That's going to make life easier on me. See this here, this block? That's using one of the charity skins, which I was going to get last time and I completely forgot about. I will have that skin available to me in the next video. You can download it as DLC on the Steam store. I think it's like £3.50 or your regional equivalent. Something like that, anyway. And it's a set of skins which all go to charity. I believe it is 100% of the profits go to charity, which is very, very nice indeed. I can't anchor while you're there. Can you please? No, 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 no. Okay, just gentle slide. Gentle slide is fine. Snippy. And the one I'm going to call John. Damn it, John. I can't repair right now. And now I need to get back up. If I was using the crusher wheels, we probably could. But instead, I'm going to have to go all the way around, aren't I? Yeah. Yeah, the crusher wheels are kind of insane. There we go. We're back. How fantastic would this area be to build with? It's an instant fort. Can you harvest the big crystal here? 
Wow, you can. Okay, I'm going to avoid that since I have decided, yeah, we're not going to be harvesting for money this run. Most likely, unless there's an outcry otherwise. Uh, what I'm going to be focusing on now is changing up my vehicle because, honestly, I hate it. <laughs> it works. It's fine. But I hate how it looks and we just got a load more stuff to build with, which is great. Saying that, though, we didn't get many regular blocks again, did we? We got a few at least. I'm going to go pretty extreme with this. Where is my cab? There it is. Ta-da! Everything is gone. Let's build from scratch. Oh, that looks creepy. Naturally, we're keeping it. This whole thing looks creepy. What am I even doing? I have no idea. Batteries are in place. It turns out you get a lot of power out of just one raw block, so I really don't think I'm going to bother refining them, just because it's just annoying for very little value out of it. Hmm. These shields are really weak. Okay, at least shield the front and at least cover the back with repair bubbles at the moment. Yeah, for now, I'll just throw them there. As long as that covers everything, which it does, that's fine. Just added an extra anchor just so I could kind of hold this in place without it being floaty. Okay, just need to add some weapons to the front and we're pretty much good to go. This thing moves so much better than the old version. Much easier to control, even though the front's a bit on the weird side. I just added a, a line of guns using some of the new blocks, because I had enough of them to do this, but not enough to do any of the shapes I actually wanted. So once again, the front section is just completely still a work in progress. Hello, you! You're dead! Goodbye. Now, to be fair to that mission, we are using pretty darn weak weapons. We are just using loads and loads of the smallest of the guns, just because that's what we currently have available. Yeah, loads of the light machine guns. We could put more weapons here instead of the brackets, but I kind of like how that looks. I know it's not exactly a good-looking tech, but I kind of like that. It's a bit on the rugged side. Oh, I know what I need to add. If we go on over to GSO, onto power blocks, or is it accessories? There it is, the power gauge. Got that earlier. There we are. So now we can see how much battery we have, and apparently we have almost none. So to cure this... Time to devour some of the forest. This is really slow. So, well, it's not that slow, but it's not particularly quick. What we're going to need is probably multiple of these or the refinery later on. Especially since right now we're only charging eight. No, not even eight. We're only charging six batteries. We need more batteries. Oh, we have a GSO, a Geocorp battery pack without me even realizing. Okay, then. Probably shouldn't put the battery in such an exposed place, but I'm going to do it anyway, because I think it looks cool. Yeah, it looks really cool. 